Hello everyone. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Home is where our heart is. My name is Dane. And I'm Steli. And we're the proud authors of the book Knowledge to Forage. Knowledge to Forage. And today we're going to teach you how to make some lovely rose hip honey. Rose hip honey. We're going to take the fruits of the rose that you can see growing wildly behind us and turn them into this delicious honey. Rose hip honey. Delicious. Now to identify rose hips is super, super simple. These are wild rose hips, the dog rose, and they are the fruit of the rose. Now to identify them, you can just see it's got the thorny rose stem and these rose hips are an oval shaped and red with these little hats on the top. Now these are the wild rose hips and all rose hips are edible because all roses are edible and you can just as easily use these Japanese rose hips that you may also find growing in your grandma's garden. And welcome to our humble home. Hello! So for this recipe, all you're gonna need is your cup of rose hips. One cup of rose hips and some honey. So come with us and we'll show you how to make it. Step one, if your rose hips aren't all squishy and soft and you haven't had a frost yet, pop them in the freezer overnight let them get nice and frosty, fake the frost, and then in the morning, pop them in a colander and defrost them. Defrost your rose hips under hot water from the tap. Step two, chip chop this end off. Get rid of that. Give it a little slice, pop it in your pan. Add two cups of water, one, two. On a medium heat, bring to a light simmer and then simmer for about 20 minutes. After five minutes of simmering, give them a mash up with your potato masher. Now it's been simmering for about 20 minutes, we'll take it off the heat and leave it to infuse and thicken and cool down for about an hour. So whilst that's cooling and infusing, what we're doing today is we're taking these syrups, jams and infused honey techniques from our book and we're turning the traditional World War II rose hip syrup, which is made with sugar, and we're creating that with honey instead. Don't forget to check out our other rose hip recipes such as rose hip leather, rose hip lip balm, or rose hip oil. You can find all these recipes in our book or for free on our YouTube channel. And if you want to learn all about rose hips in a more in depth way, such as identification, nutritional, medicinal properties, mythology, and folklore, then check out our awesome video called Everything You Need to Know About Rose Hips. It's been cooling for an hour, so it's thickened up a lot and it's cooled right down so we're not going to burn ourselves. I'm just going to pour it straight into this mm, piece of cloth with very fine mesh. You can use a muslin, you can use cheesecloth, but we've just got this laying around. And then bring it all together and Rose hip juice! Yummy! And to give it a good squeeze, gets a bit messy. So the reason we're sieving it through this cloth is inside rose hips they have lots of little tiny hairs that are quite irritating, not very nice if you ingest them. So we're just straining all the lovely vitamin C rich pulp through and leaving those irritating hairs behind. Now we're going to see how much rose hip juice we got. Whoa, look at that, yummy. It's about half a cup full. Pour that into the jar. Delicious. 
and then we'll measure out about half a cup of honey. Simples. I'm going to do a little bit less today, just so it's not as sweet. There we go. Mm. Yum. So there's no exact measurements for this lovely rosehip honey. You can do half honey, half rosehip, or you can do a quarter honey and three quarters rosehip. And then we're going to give it a good stir to mix it all together. Okay. Mm. Yummers. And there we have it. Ta da! Rose hip honey. <gasps> Bruce, where is the rose hip? Abby. Rose hip. You can try some. Taste test. Um. <laughs> it's yeah. absolutely delicious. Yeah. Get making this, guys, because yeah. it tastes like heaven. It tastes amazing. Mm. It's hard to describe how good it tastes. Oh, Winnie the Pooh. What? Yeah, Winnie, the, <laughs> Winnie the Pooh strikes again. <laughs> Is that yummy, Bruce? Yeah. As always, people, it's been a pleasure. Oh, thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, thanks and for watching. I hope you make some of this yourselves at home because it's really, really yummy. That's it. Get out on the fresh hand. Bask in the ambiance of the rose hips. Yeah, well, that vitamin <laughs> C from the rose hips. There'll be no scurvy in this family. Well, yeah. there. <laughs> no. That's it. Make sure <laughs> to check out everything about rose hips video we made because there's lots more properties to these rose hips too. Yeah, and head over to Facebook. Home is where our heart is. Yep. Follow us on um, Facebook and you'll Instagram. You'll be able to see any updates, especially about our book. There's some exciting things going on there. Yeah. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to own all this knowledge in your hand, make sure to pick up a copy of our book, Knowledge to Forage. Yeah, get the book, Knowledge to Forage, over on Amazon. <laughs> and we'll see you all next time. Peace. Peace.